When a beam of white light is passed through a prism, it splits into what's called a spectrum of different colors. Now this effect is called dispersion. And it tells us some information about the nature of white light. It actually tells us that white light is a mixture of all of the colors of the spectrum. So let's, let's complete this diagram to show what's going on. So here's white light. And we know that white light is a type of electromagnetic wave. And electromagnetic waves can travel through a vacuum and they can travel through transparent materials such as glass or plastic. Now the different colors of light have different wavelengths. Now all of these different wavelengths travel the same speed in a vacuum. But when they enter a glass prism, they slow down and that causes them to refract, to change direction. The thing is that different colors, different wavelengths, refract and slow down by different amounts. So what we notice is that when the white light comes into the prism, the red component of the white light refracts less than the, the violet component. And that's because red light doesn't slow down as much as the violet slows down. And, and so the red light doesn't refract and bend as much as the violet bends. And this splits up all of the colors. I've only shown the red and the violet, but of course in here we'll, you'll find that all of the colors will be, will be shown. And here are the main ones, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, or Roy G. Biv to remember them by. And this effect is called dispersion. Dispersion. So what does it tell us about the, the nature of white light? What does it tell us about white light? So we can say that white light, white light is a mixture of all the colors, all the colors, I say of the rainbow. That's not a, such a scientific uh, term, but actually that's what's happening. When you see a rainbow, you're actually seeing dispersion happening through millions and millions of raindrops falling from the clouds as the sunlight falls through them. And let's take another look at this. Here we see the white light coming into the prism. Remember that the different wavelengths, the different colors, slow down by different amounts. And that means that they're going to refract by different amounts. So the, the violet refracts the most because it's slowed down the most. And the red refracts the least. And they come out again, and that causes them to bend and refract even more as the violet speeds up the most. And then we have this spectrum of color on the other side. Now, Sir Isaac Newton looked at this in detail. And uh, before him, scientists thought that it was the prisms that actually colored the white light somehow. And what Isaac Newton did is he took the green light that came out of his prism, that was dispersed out of his prism, and he put that through another prism. And he noticed that the green light did not split up. So that told him that the prism, the prism did not color the green light to another color. It was actually the, the green which was part of the white light to start with. So this is called dispersion. And I think we've answered all the questions here. We've copied and completed the diagram. What does this tell us about white light? White light is a mixture of all of the colors and we may put here all of the wavelengths 
of visible light is probably a more scientific way of writing it. There we are.